Hi, I'm Zach Hammerman. I'm a right-handed pitcher from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, I am currently attending Nyack College in Nyack, New York. I am 20 years old. I am 6'2", 190 pounds. I've been playing since I was about five years old. My uncle was big. He, my uncle played for the Cardinals. Uh, my uncle was Dan Hitt. He was a left-handed pitcher, and he played all through the Cardinals farm leagues, and he played for the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, I started uh, t-ball when I was really young, and all the way till I was eight years old, I got actually randomly picked to start pitching for a team that they were down on pitchers, and I had never pitched before. So I went out on the mound and ended up doing it a, a really good job. I was throwing so slow and they couldn't catch up to it because I wasn't, I didn't really know what I was doing. But after I did that, my coach was like, you really need to start taking lessons. I think this is something you could really pick up. Uh, when I was about eight, when I started pitching, I had my first pitching coach, which was Joey Locke, who uh, his main, his main mindset wasn't necessarily no curveball. It wasn't curveballs. It wasn't speed. It was mainly accuracy and just how like hitting your spots in certain locations. Like, I remember to the day, like, even now, we would always have, like, contests to see if you could hit the most spots, and it wasn't anything about speed, it was just hitting that pinpoint dot. He always told us that accuracy, accuracy is something that you'll always have with you, and the speed at such a young age, it'll it'll come, you'll, you'll gain it, but accuracy is something you can carry with you for the rest of your pitching career. Um, my favorite thing is, I have to say from getting from him, was hitting my inside corners with a fastball. A lot of pitchers don't like doing that in tight situations, but uh, I think that's the best pitch you can do. If you can really hit that spot, you will mess with a lot of batters. Uh, another one, after Joey Locke, I had um, Les Lancaster, who was one of my coaches, and uh, he actually played, Joey played for the Astros, and uh, Les Lancaster played for the Cubs. And that's when I started learning my breaking ball. I learned curveball, better change up. And anyway, my, my speed started coming a little bit, but I still had that accuracy. So he was teaching me how to throw a curveball correctly to not injure my arm, because they say at like a certain age, they don't want you to throw a breaking pitch to hurt yourself. And um, I would always make sure I was doing it correct. And he was very sure of how I threw it and the way um, my motion was going. So Les helped me out with a lot of that, and then today, currently, I have my same pitching coach from when I was about 12 years old, uh, Courtney Duncan, who has also played for the Cubs, and he's back in Huntsville, Alabama, and he worked with me on my changeup. So you can see how each coach helped me with certain parts of my aspect, and I've taken every bit with me growing up. My everyday thing was picking up a baseball and just learning more and more every day. So I was always a third baseman and shortstop, uh, mainly a corners guy. But uh, it was always pitching first, third base second. Those uh, PFPs are 
a lot easier when you know how to use your glove. Baseball is always something that I could always, I guess, go to and take my, you know, my stress and everything and just leave it at home and go play. And it was always something that was really true to my heart. And once high school, my senior senior year hit, I was like, you know, I really, I really want to keep keep up with this. I want to do this for a career. If I can, if this can be my life, then that would be the best job ever. So I ended up actually changing high schools and going to the same high school Craig Kimbrell went to actually in Huntsville and ended up getting picked up and third game of the year had a no hitter. Uh, fourth game of the year had a 14 strikeout game. It was it was a huge year for me and that's what all the colleges found. They, that's, they found me my senior year. I, it, it worked out for me. I came out of high school not really I pitched a lot my, my senior year, but uh, when I went to my um, college, I ended up having a red shirt, and it was, a, it was a huge toll on me and my coach that I had to get stronger for the next year. So I ended up coming back my sophomore year, not expecting to be really high in the rotation, just getting a few reliefs. But um, I ended up being the number four pitcher, the starter, and just battled my way through the season, and by the end of the season, I was the number two, and the the number one, the ace above me, was a junior and technically a senior because he redshirted as well. So, so it's a good, right. a good start to a freshman year. Uh, I've been clocked at 92 as my top, but uh, I sit at about 89, 90 currently. And um, I'm still undergoing a lot of strengthening and conditioning. The beginning of this year, I went through a um, bunch, bunch of workouts to get stronger. Every other workout there was like I looked at different velocity programs, different pitching routines, and I just kind of put one together for myself, and it's really been working out for me, and the speed's slowly going up, and I'm proud with my progress so far. There, I have a power curve, which I can adjust to a 12.6. Um, I also have a slider that I use occasionally, uh, and my other pitch is my changeup, a circle change, and I also have a two-seam fastball. I do have a knuckle curve, and that's, yeah, that's one of those pitches where, uh, once I'm later in the game and they've you know they've seen a little bit of everything I've had they they haven't seen that pitch and I can always bust that one out if I'm really in a jam especially a three two count one of my favorite things to do in a three two count is you have a batter looking for a fastball and then he sees a knuckle curve come out of nowhere and it's like okay that was unexpected uh, we have about 50 games in about about two months that is a lot of baseball <laughs> this is I I could honestly die for this sport I think my favorite thing is it's a team sport you can't. You can't do this by yourself. I know it's a uh, small ball is a huge thing that wins games, and it's it's very 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 important. Uh, I'm currently a junior um, school wise, but I'm a sophomore baseball wise because I redshirted my freshman year. I just want to get my numbers up and focus on my academics next year a lot. And once I get my numbers up, uh, I'm not eligible for the draft yet. But um, once I get my numbers and just you know continue to work harder, uh, get my velocity up, and just continue to be the good teammate I am. That's those are my hopes for next year.